All right, kids. Something bad's happening. Yeah, bad. I have an El Camino taking over the shop. It's not my El Camino either. And it's, in, it's a Honda. I have to move this out so a Honda can come in here and the foreman can take over my shop. You believe that? It's happening today. In a world where everyone seems to be in a hurry, there is a place where things aren't quite as hectic. Here, a father and daughter have teamed up to breathe new life into relics from the past. Now it's time to meet Peyton. She's not your average teenager. Since she was old enough to hold a wrench, she's been in the garage learning the art of car restoration from her father, Chad, a seasoned Army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. With each new project, Peyton learns the values of hard work, patience, and the pride that comes with doing something yourself. In their garage, it's not just about the cars, it's about family, memories, and the love of the open road. Welcome to Honest Peyton's Speed Shop. Yeah, I know. I don't even know if I have metric tools. I wasn't kidding. Yeah. Look at that thing. <clears throat> I don't even know what HPD means. When El Camino on the tunnel cover, stick around. You ever get a feeling something's made of plastic? Let's see what's in this thing. I just made one said, Mama didn't raise no dummy. Well, uh, I'm working under the fan. Mm hmm. I don't even know. The tiger. I don't even know what that means. I will say this though. Go get yourself one of these Doyle knives. It's got a seatbelt cutter and a. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what's in this. Oh, okay. It's in a bag. It's in a bag. In a bag. Because I need a bag. I need a bag. For, for this, you need a bag. Yep, I need a bag. Okay. Let's put this bag over here. I don't even want to look at that. Got garbage. Here's the directions. Put these like this. Even Jeremy can get those. What's this? Oh, these are the actual directions. Do this. I'm not even sure. Who took my knife? There it is. Sorry, I got loud. I put it away. Attention! Lift tarp while inserting rail in front of the. Yeah. I'm gonna guess. If I was a guessing man. It'd be like that, right there. Like, I mean, literally, like this. It goes like that. And then this one. I'm not, yeah, I'm not even looking at the directions. I'm not charging me directions. Yeah. Probably something like this. If I was, you know, if I was to say, you go up there. And then there's. That's it. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm, I'm no. Um, if I can find that hardware box, I'm going to look at the instructions. Okay, I already blew right past step one, which is... Not my truck. <laughs> this is in Spain. I don't even... I don't have my glasses on.
Remove the factory screws. Check. I don't even know what kind of bit that is. Honda. I will need a bulkhead side seal strip. I guess it's over there. Install the bed cover. That's number one. Install the bed covers, number one. Number two is remove those screws. Descriptive. And then after I install it, then it says how to assemble it. And there's some arrows and stuff. Then I'm supposed to do that. You, I might need. I might need. Well, if I might need them, why are they here? All right. You know what? I'm done. One metric tool. I only have one, it's this one. Let's see if this works. Could use a butter knife. Update. I used I tried everything here. Peyton, she's actually doing something. Mom? Foreman's out here, but I can't show her. <laughs> see these stupid, you see, yep, you see those? They're junk. Honda Performance Division. Department. Development. And develop your way out of a plastic bag with these screws. No, oh, wet paper bag. Through an open doorway. Getting handed a tray at cafeteria at lunchtime. I'm not happy. You get not happy, what you need to do is have a lovely beverage and then have extra people in your shop that are making noise. I'm always Ooh. the noise. You're not? I'm trying not, I'm trying to figure a way to remove a screw that's junk without a hammer because. Foreman's in here. She's probably that. Nope, not that way. That way. If I point that way, it's creepy. He's staring at me. I'll tour. All right, here we go. See that stupid thing right there? This. Sorry, I got loud. This is the problem. This one was fine. Not this one. I get something else to say. Snapchat, stop sending me stuff. I don't, I'm not even on there right now. You just send me stuff that I don't care about. All right. Back to what I was saying before. Um, the tonneau cover installation is actually not too bad. I mean, you actually A C B A, and it actually tells you right on the, on the, that thing, where to put the clamps. That's that side. We're still fighting with that silly bolt. So, um, it's coming right now. Honda, you're still terrible. You make quality product, except for use inferior hardware. Now Amazon's asking if my recent Amazon purchase met my expectations. I don't even know what I bought. So clearly it must have, because I don't remember it. But it has nothing to do with what we're doing. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna drill into a truck that has 4,000 miles on it. Right now. All right, here we are. It is now next Friday. So here's what I did. Started drilling it out. And then I thought to myself, what would my dad do in this situation? And after I cursed for about 15 minutes, told Melissa she wasn't holding the light in the right spot. <laughs> There's no 
Look, I didn't have her holding a light because they would have been in the wrong spot. Locking pliers. Ultimately what I did is I cranked these things to where it wouldn't actually fit over <laughs> the, that, this, this. And you can see, I flattened it out on the edges and I turned it and it worked. Um, so there we go. Got it. With the proper uh, patience and tools and quality equipment, you too can look as happy as I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we've got the, I can't show you. Someone's in the way who doesn't want to be seen. She, sh sh who shall not be on camera. I'm going to turn this way. I think she just blew her knee out getting out of the thing. Yeah, All right, so we have these in place. They're literally marked C, B, and A on the rail. Tells you to go all the way in. Super easy. This is a brand from the Amazon. Tiger. Tiger, yes. Um, once we overcame the uh, obstacle that is a bolt that took like 40, 45 minutes and every tool in the shop, yeah, except, mine. Uh, except for fire, because that was coming, but this is plastic. There's plastic in this thing. All right, anyway, so we've got that up there. Now we're going to unroll it, which you can't see, but know that we're gonna do that. You can have your side. And then here. Just show your side. The actual installation of this, minus that bolt, was about 13 minutes. <laughs> I've aged seven years off of my heart. Just leave it on your side. My blood pressure is high. I might have to go to Harbor Freight to calm down. <laughs> Actually, i got to get snacks for work. I like snacks for work. Shush. All right, so all we're going to do is run roll it. All right, so it's got pre-bent thingies in the thing, and it's got garbage. It's got, who's in charge of this? Sorry, you got loud. And then we need to adjust back here. We're gonna, and then, so before we do any of the, before we get to this, I'm gonna shut this off because I guarantee, 100% guarantee, I will, uh, I will curse. And I don't want to do that because I've cursed on every other one before. Before today, and I intend to, Forever. Sometimes they're colorful. Oh, and you know what I just found? The washer. <laughs> Missing washer that took 15 minutes for someone to find. When I said it's in the Clyde drawer. You know what? We'll, we'll swing around on that. There's one silver washer in there now. First one... To describe no i'm not i'm not giving this away this is gonna this is staying with me forever uh there was not one curse um we literally unrolled it followed the simple instructions which said make sure that the little block in here was past the last increment and uh by the way it already was it said don't put it past oh don't put it past well we didn't no we did but there was no adjusting it was literally Clamp it on, not, shut it. Not figuratively either. I'm very impressed with this quality. It's heavy. And it wasn't one of those expensive ones. It wasn't heavy. I said the material You know what? Is... If she keeps mouthing off, I'm gonna just start going like I this. I said the middle. Here, there we go. Here we go. Oh, no, they got you. Here, wait, now you can do it. So to do the clamps down, we just had them kind of snugged up. We didn't go a whole hog. Because, well, number one, I didn't have a hog. So I couldn't go whole hog if I don't have a hog. So I went with a 10 millimeter 
ratcheting wrench from the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh brand because let's face it, I'm not, not bougie. Okay, I'm bougie. So all we're gonna do is I already signed them up. So we're just gonna continue to tighten down. That's it, we're tightening up. Just give it a good tightening. And then we're gonna make sure, doubly sure, that the bolts that we put in the factory locations are tightened down. See you in a minute. Hey, have you guys ever washed, washed the bed of your truck with a hand and tool wipe? Because <laughs> I bet you haven't. But if you do, Greasy's Garage, hand tool and truck bed wipes. <laughs> they smell good. <laughs> <laughs> you know where to get them. <laughs> Check out the website. Use the promo code. Save you some dough. Hands, tools, and truck beds. Get them now. <laughs> All right. So we saw a little bit of the struggle bus and whatnot, but uh, Tiger with a Y. We'll put a just... A link down there just so you guys can check it out um decent little product we just had one problem with that bolt but uh, that's i mean it was just a. Uh, it almost seemed like it was just kind of flimsy aluminum but uh, anyway hope you enjoyed this little thing it wasn't actually going to be a video but it turned into one um this was not a product this was not a sponsored thing we bought this ourselves and uh it just kind of turned into a video um, one thing I do want to show you before we are done. Remember I had the shop cleaned up? I don't know. So we'll have to address that again. <laughs> uh, hope you enjoyed it. Keep on wrenching, kids.